Hello everybody, this is Dreaming Gamer back for the semi-final round of the Jurassic Tussle Tournament. We're reaching the end game now, and by the end of this week, we will find out who our winner is. But before we get to that, we got two semi-finals to go through first. So, let's get on with semi-final number one. Right, Dio then. In the red corner, we got the Decreosaurus. Yes, I know, the semi-final is three water dinosaurs. <laughs> Which is not what I was expecting. But the water dinosaurs have definitely washed up this tournament. And the Chrysaurus being no exception. However, it will be tough for the guy because in the blue corner, we have the tournament favourite, still in it to win it, it's Bromptikins. Ooh, I love Bromptikins. Oh, Bromptikins. Bromptikins, although has, some, has had some sticky patches, but has always come through. Boom, boom. Who do you think is going to win this matchup? Do you think Bromptikins is going to get upsetted? Or will Bromptikins advance to the finals? Ooh, the Chrysaurus getting the first hit. Looks like the favourite took the first blow. Two. But Bromptikins respond to the hit of his own. Big bad Bronte gets off a crit. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why I sounded in tune there, but oh well. Ooh, but the Crayosaurus gets a crit of his own, an even match so far, and even matches are the best matches. Boosh. Well, can the Crayosaurus close this out? No, I don't think he's going to because and the recovery's probably gonna make sure that Bromtikins is going to win this matchup. And well he has. It's a 1-0 lead for Bromtikins. Recovery wasn't even needed. But yeah, back and forth match, but Bromtikins just squeaked it in the end. However, it is not over yet. As you know, it is a best out of three, so let's move on to round two. Right, round two. Can Bromptikins close this out and advance to the finals, or can Decreosaurus level the score? Hmm. I think Bromptikins is probably going to close this out. Well, with a start like that, maybe not. Decreosaurus opening up with an Aqua Whip. Whip it! <laughs> Not much of an aqua whip, is it? Well, I kind of, it's, like a, it's more like an aqua lasso. Like, if it was an aqua whip, it would go... Ah, oh, there we go. Oop, that's a tie. But Ty suit Bromptikins. In fact, they both got Ocean Panic. But Ty's favour Bromptikins more because he got the tie attack. And Bromptikins gets a crit and a recovery to come too, which means Bromptikins will be in the lead. Yes, one thing I have noticed about these one-on-one -on -one matches, it is nearly impossible to get the armor. So doing an armored dinosaur tournament is going to be very difficult and, well, to a degree, seemingly pointless because you're never going to see the armor. Oh, is that it? Is that it for the Creosaurus? This ocean panic might seal the deal. Badoosh, fabadoosh, fabadoosh. Oh, no, no, it's not dead yet, and it doesn't get a shockwave effect, which gives the Creosaurus a lifeline. Which he uses. Crit block. Can the Creosaurus do... Will that lack of shockwave effect be costly? Right, so the Creosaurus will be going rock, so... Well, Brontekins... Ooh... And all of a sudden... Well, actually, a tie would still not be enough, so the, the Bronthikins is... It's, the odds are still in Bronthi's favour. But look at this from the Creosaurus. Not going out yet. Okay, now is it going out? Yeah, there it is. Bronthikins survives. The Creosaurus put up a little bit of a fight, but Bronthikins proving too strong and advances to the final. As for the Creosaurus... Had a, de had a pretty good run in this tournament. Maybe did better than many people expected. You could say that about 
these next two opponent these next two guys as well in the next matchup. And speaking of that matchup, let's get on with it, shall we? Okay then, in the red corner, the pain in the ass, the naughty toddler of this tournament, the Kamarasaurus. And for those of you that do not know why this guy is a pain in the ass, it's because I forgot to include it in the original roster, and it completely threw my team, my whole plans in the toilet. Right, in the blue corner, we got the only non water dinosaur in this tournament. It's Laxovasaurus. The last surviving Earth dinosaur. Defeating Soro Faganax in the quarterfinals. An impressive win that was. Will Laxovasaurus take out the Kama? Or will the Kama advance to the finals to face Bromlikins? I mean, I kind of want it to be Laxovasaurus. There's not two water dinosaurs in the final. And Kamarasaurus is a naughty tot. And that's a very good start from Lexi. Oh, the tie. No sand trap, though. Ties favour the Lexovasaurus, as I said. It's got the sand trap. Ooh, but that crit's gonna favour the Kama. It's a Dino Yeetage. You swing me right round, baby. <laughs> I, you know what I should make? I should make a Dino King out video. Where we, we, it's just all mean. Where all the moves are like memes. <laughs> Ugh, I should I should do that. I might do that actually. Lexi gets the next hit. Coming back strong after getting hit by that swing. Oh, but it's Kama getting the win. And it's Kamarasaurus going 1 0 up. With two Dino Yeetages. Yes, Kama has a very powerful crit, as you just saw, and it is Kamarasaurus 1-0 up. Well, let's not count Lexi out yet. They can still turn this around as we move on to round two. Okie dokie then, round two. Will the Kama make it 2-0 and advance to the finals, or will Lexovasaurus pull fight back? What I don't understand is why Kamarasaurus is so tiny in this game. Like, it's... Like, compared to Lexovasaurus, Kamarasaurus is so much bigger. I mean, Lexovasaurus isn't that big. But that's Dinosaur King scaling view, my friends. And that is an opening crit from Lexi. Ooh, wait, hang on a minute. Is Lexovasaurus even things up? Oh, they have. That was quick, wasn't it? <laughs> quick as a wink, Lexovasaurus evens the score with the Kamarasaurus taking two crits. Well, you know what that means. It's all going to come down to this deciding round. Right, the then, the deciding round between these two. A place in the final at stake, a matchup with Bruntekins as the prize for winning this match. Although, will it be much of a price? Because Brontekins is probably going to win no matter which one of these two gets through. Ooh, it's the Kama getting the first hit. We've seen quite a lot of crits in this match thus far. Not too many normal hits. But a Tupu Dive coming in as well. Swooping Laxovasaurus off its feet. Oh, oh, oh. It's Sand Trap time. It's... Time for a day at the beach. Although the camera may not appreciate that as he sinks into the sand. Boosh! And he gets ejected. Okay, scissors. Ooh, but the camera gets ahead. Futaba cannon coming in. Whoom! The Sweat Blaster coming in towards the Laxovasaurus. Gonna blast it with its with Sweat. Oh, oh, wait, wait. Oh, he killed it! Well, um, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Come on. Kamarasaurus dispatching the Laxovasaurus there and winning the match. So, that means we have our final two. So, let's take a look, shall we? Well, there is our finale, ladies and gentlemen. 
it will be Brontekins going up against the Kamarasaurus. Winner takes all. And we will also have a third place playoff match to decide who gets the bronze medal between the Kreosaurus and Lexovasaurus. So yeah, that's it. That's it for the semi-final, ladies and gentlemen. So I hope you enjoyed and make sure to ring that bell so you don't miss out on the finale of this tournament. And until then, this is Stranger Gamer signing out. Mm -hmm.